Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. My name is Jeff from Femora, and we are bringing you the Help Series. All right, hey guys, this is episode one. We're gonna create a GIF. So we're starting with a fresh project. We're gonna import media files here. Check out that. We're just clicking, and today I'm going to use Heidi because I want to make a GIF of Heidi. So first off, we need to put her in the timeline. So we're gonna click on this, add to project. See that right there? We're clicking that in. She's in there. All right, let's make this GIF about, you know, four and a half seconds is all right, but let's make it, a, let's make it around two seconds long. All right, so then every time I start this, it's only gonna be two seconds long. Boom. All right, there she is. We need to go add an element, and we're gonna add a sweet Retro's 80 element. So click on elements, just like it did, and we're going up to Retro 80s, and we are gonna look for the coolest, we're gonna use the shutter shades. All right, we're hovering over the shades, add to project. I'm gonna click that right there. It's gonna drop down right onto the image track. Notice that it's way too long, so I need to zoom in. I need to shorten my timeline by zooming in. You can click, click, click forever there. You can use this guy, and then I'm clicking and dragging. So now I'm gonna trim this bad boy, and right there, two seconds, perfect. All right, so now that we got the glasses in there, we need to adjust the size so they fit Heidi's face and make her look sweet, and also animate them and drop them down. So what I'm gonna do is double click on the actual image, and we're gonna use this one, the zoom into the bottom, and we're gonna double click to apply. So we're gonna double click, that actually made them grow, so it's a good idea to apply that first before we adjust the size. So we can just move these, and we're moving them, I'm gonna adjust with the corner, that's gonna just keep the, the height and width the same size. If I use the side, it's just gonna shrink them up like that. Control Z to back up. So I'm using the corner. I'm gonna bring them down to the right size. Those are super awesome. I'm gonna even make them smaller so they fit her perfectly. That looks about right. Let's check out how it looks so far. Oh, sweet. Now, if you hadn't guessed, we're gonna try and create this famous meme called the deal with it meme. I'm going to now add a text on top of it. So we're moving into the text credit. We're gonna click here, and then we wanna use the retro 80s again, and we'll just pick something that looks pretty flashy and awesome. I like this one. Again, plus symbol, add it to project. You notice it just drops down on the text line, and let's trim it again to be two seconds. Or if you look over here, I didn't really get it right on the mark. 209. Awesome. Let's see how that looks. Sweet. Let's change the text now. So we're going to double click on the text. It opens up the box. I love how it is. I'm going to leave it because that's why I chose it. Let's go in here. We're going to write deal with it. Brought to you by Heidi. Okay, we're gonna check out how that looks. I'm happy with it. Heidi probably won't be, but I'm happy with it. Export, create video. We're in the format and we're going all the way down to GIF. There it is. Click that, make sure you're on it. Settings. We're gonna make this the best possible resolution, which it is at, so that's 1920 by 1080. Frame rate, we're gonna also make that as far as we can go. Oh, 30 frames per second, there we go. Okay, now we're gonna export this. All right, it's ready, let's check that out. I'm gonna hit find target, I know where it went. So that should open up right away. Here it comes, and it's called my video. You can rename that whatever you want. Here it is, and there it is. Deal with it. 
That's how you make a GIF. Thanks guys for watching. My name is Jeff, signing out. We'll see you next time.